we had definitely had a loss in several fields. Jackie Johnson Green from Johnson Farm says she's losing lots of potatoes in the last month due to the heat wave cooking some of her most profitable plants. The temperature is becoming unbearable for farm workers and crops alike. We are seeing um, definitely losses for that, um, especially some of our areas where it hit 114, 115. Johnston Green does not just grow potatoes. The farm has several other plants, including almonds, bell peppers, carrots, and lemons, among others. But some of her most visibly damaged crops are her oranges. We are seeing some stress in the trees. Um, there will be some heat damage on the oranges. By the time we're harvesting, a lot of them will grow out of it, and it probably won't be a big deal. But um, it is a concern. Overall industry is impacted. Dr. Gurkche Soydemir at Stanislaus State University says the consumer price index is down for the first time in months. But you will likely not see that at the market. Soydemir warns that the heat not only causes the price of products to increase, but the productivity in farm workers decreases. The heat stays in general reduces productivity of farm workers by about 10 percent. But extreme heat can increase it by up to 78 percent. So it has tremendous impact. Heat can also um, increase the risk of injuries. Laura Farias is a registered nurse with Kaiser Permanente. Energy workers, oil workers, and farm workers spend some of the most time out in the sun. Now, in this heat crisis, Farias says to watch out for the signs of heat stress that then become heat exhaustion. Muscle cramps, headaches, nausea, some fatigue, um, and then the dizziness and confusion. Escalating, yes, over time, the longer that you're exposed to the um, elevated temperatures, then it does um, escalate to the heat exhaustion. After heat stress and heat exhaustion comes heat stroke, and one of the biggest warning signs of heat stroke to watch out for is no sweating. Later in the 6 p.m. hour, we will jump more into why those high prices at the market are staying high. But for now, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.